Hey everybody, welcome back to Mixing Music Analog and MixingMusicAnalog.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to share with you my five advantages to working in the analog workflow as opposed to working all digitally in the box with plugins. So that's what we're going to talk about this video, five advantages to working analog over digital coming right up. Okay, everybody, like I said, we're going to talk about five advantages to working analog over digital and solely in the box of plugins in this video. So before we get to these five things that I like about working analog over digital, I want you to like, share, subscribe, make sure you give me the thumbs up, share this video with others. And if this video helps you in any way, make sure you hit the thanks button and support what I do here. All the links will be in the description box below if you want to check out all the other things that I have going on, both in the analog workflow and in the digital workflow, helping you make better music in your home studio. Advantage number one, the speed. The speed in which it takes to mix a project in analog is far faster than digital. And you say, well, what do you mean? Well, what I mean is when you have your whole mix laid out on a console like we do here, and we have all of our mix out here, we have 32 EQs, like on this console, it's a 32 fader console, 32 faders, 32 EQs, 32 preamps, everything is right there where you could touch it very, very quickly. You don't have to open and close plug-in windows on a screen. You don't have to look in there and squint at the screen to see what's going on and see all the little knobs and all the little dials and all the little controls. Everything you can just reach out and touch. You have two hands and 10 fingers and you can grab multiple things at once. So even though the preparation of a mix set takes a little bit longer on the front end when you get out to the console and you start mixing it is way way faster once you build that muscle memory it is super fast advantage number two to mixing in an analog workflow is there's not as much processing meaning that a lot of the analog gear takes place of having to use many plugins inside of the box. So again, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is we have something like a console, we're running all of our signal through the console and through some selected pieces of hardware that takes multiple plugins inside of a DAW to kind of emulate that same kind of workflow. You'll need things like a console emulation plugin, a channel stick plugin, maybe a tape machine plugin, some kind of saturation plugins, so on and so forth. You may have four or five plugins on every individual track inside of your DAW just to emulate or try to recreate what something like a console does for you just by running signal through it. So you don't have as much processing to do in the box to get kind of the same sound. A lot of the sound is already kind of built in to when you run it through a console. But when you have that, you'll also find that you don't need as much outboard processing in the analog domain as you do in the digital domain to get the same kind of results. I noticed that when I moved to analog after working in the box for so many years, I don't use nearly as much processing, nearly as much compression, nearly as much EQ or all different types of things to fix everything because the analog gear kind of takes care of a lot of that on its own and I find I have a lot less processing. So fewer plugins, I don't need plugins at all. There are no plugins here and the gear kind of takes care of a lot of the processing itself. Advantage number three to working in an analog workflow when it comes to mixing over maybe digital in the box all with plugins is that you have limitations. You have fewer choices and that kind of ties back to advantage number one. It also helps speed up the process. So in the digital domain, we have unlimited amount of plugins, right? Plugins are fairly affordable. We all open up our plugin browser window and we have hundreds and some of these even have thousands and thousands of plugins. So when you want to put a compressor on a snare drum, for example, you could have one of a hundred of them to choose from or 50 of them to choose from or 25 of them to choose from. In the analog domain, most of us only have one or two choices. So for example, in my racks over to my left here, I have maybe a half a dozen, 10 different compressors that I can use across an entire mix, but that's all I have. I don't have hundreds. We have limited choices. So if we want to compress that snare from example, I have to decide in the rack, well, what do I want to use on that snare drum? Because I don't have 50 1176 plugins like I do in the box. 
or 50 distressor plugins that I could put on every track like I have in the box, I got to make choices. And by having limitations and having making choices and making commitments, you speed up that workflow and it keeps things a lot more simplistic. So having limitations is actually a good thing. Now you can do the same thing in the box if you don't use all your plugins and maybe have a half a dozen or so plugins that you put in like a favorites folder and you only use those plugins for a few of your mix sessions, I encourage you to try that. You'll find just by giving yourself some limitations on the amount of plugins that you use that you'll speed up your workflow, you'll probably end up with better results and more consistent results as well. Advantage number four to working and mixing in an analog workflow is that for me personally, you feel like you're more part of the music. When you sit behind a console and you're in a chair and you're moving back and forth and you're moving faders and you're reaching out and you're touching things and then you're wheeling yourself over to the rack and you're patching things on a patch bay and you're putting your hands on gear, you feel like you're more part of the musical process. You feel like you're part of the performance. As opposed to when you're working all in the box with plugins, you're sitting there with your mouse and your keyboard, you can only really do one thing at a time. You have your 27 or your 30 inch monitor and you're looking up at the screen and you're opening up one plugin window at a time. It feels a lot more mechanical to me. It feels almost like you're in an office working on a, a financial spreadsheet as opposed to working on music. So when you're working in the analog workflow, especially if you have a console or some kind of a mixer where you gotta put your hands on things, you become more mobile, you become more physical, you feel like you're part of the music and you're part of the performance. You're as much of performing the mix as, mu as much like being in the band and performing the music to some degree. So it's a lot more tactile and it's a lot more uh, inspirational, it's a lot more creative in my opinion, and you tend to get better results that way when you feel like you're more physically part of what's going on and more physically part of the music. And last but not least, the fifth advantage to working in an analog workflow as opposed to all in the box workflow is, you know what? It's way, way, way more fun. It is just incredibly fun to sit behind something like a console, to have racks of gear where you're physically touching things, as I said. Again, you feel more creative, you feel more inspired, you feel more part of everything. It's the fun factor is just off the charts. And take it from me, from someone who mixes in the box, all the time and every day for tutorials and for students and for other things that I do here for my business. And also at the same time working in an analog workflow, I work with both every single week. And I can tell you there is no comparison, no comparison to working in the box with plugins only versus working with analog gear. The fun factor is just off the charts. It's so much more satisfying. It's so much more inspirational and it's just more fun. So that's it everybody. That's the five advantages to working in an analog workflow over working all digitally in the box. Let me know what you think below in the comment section. How do you feel about working analog or hybrid versus working in the box? Do you work all analog? Do you work hybrid? Or do you just work all with plugins? If you work all with plugins, do you wanna start incorporating some hardware into your setup so you can get a little bit more of that analog workflow? I'd love to know what your setup is and I'd love to know what you think below. So leave comments. Once again, like, share, subscribe. Hit Hit the old thanks button and until the next video i've been dave with mixingmusicanalog.com and mixing music analog on the youtube channel and i'll see you guys in the next video take care everybody